Splash Zone might have something right here. He's been, I mean, like I said, he's had some cool things, but I, let's see if he has any kind of gadget play. One play. Touchdowns, maybe. He, oh, he. Vose is used. There's nowhere to be found. Metcalf down the side or down the, up the middle of the field. Vose is used. There's, gives up the one play. He got the touchdown. He got exactly what he needed. He gets ball at half, too. Vose, I don't know what just happened. Vose was going absolutely dumb. Able to just barely get it up. Russell Wilson delivering a diamond. DK Metcalf just able to barely outrun the safety. The safety on the left side was just a cover two. I don't know why you're running cover two there either. Looks over on acemadden.com. Links will be in the description below. Guys, I hosted both of my sub tournaments this past weekend. Saturday was Xbox, Sunday was PS4. $500 total. What you guys are about to watch the PS4 finals between Vose and Splash Zone. If you guys don't know who Vose is, he's a big YouTuber, big partner, Twitch streamer. His links will be in the description below. Now, guys, this is going to be a hell game. Make sure, at the very least, stick around till halftime. I promise you, if you make it till halftime, you'll make it the rest of the game. We're going to get right into it. If you guys have not already hit the subscribe button, make sure you guys do for more Madden 20 content. And all the way until Madden 21 and throughout Madden 21, we're grinding content. Monday through Friday, posting. Let's get into it, boys. They are loading into the game, guys. We are going to get over here. Exclamation point. Or control one. Hotkey in our way over here. I'm getting glitchy with the hotkeys. We have the Seahawks versus the Texas Splash Zone Seahawks. Those Texans. Okay, <laughs> I told you not to make me a favorite. I'm sorry, bro. I'm sorry. Jesus. And we are underway with those receiving the ball first. Going to be in the gun bunch. I can already tell you. I'm super excited to watch both sides. Splash Zone just did bag a pretty solid gun bunch in Jamel's. But I'm curious because I feel like they definitely run it different. Vose, Vose and... Jamel run their offense is very different. As we see Vos hop into the depth chart, going to make a couple adjustments, and he's going to throw Lamar Miller at the power back, throwing Lamar Miller at every back, apparently. Apparently, he likes to do that. Heck, if I know. Wait for him as he makes the final lineup adjustments. Now, overall, guys, like I said before, I mean this the tournament's both ran awesome. We no one got screwed over, I felt like. I felt like no one really got screwed over in terms of like me having to like DQ people who didn't deserve it. I was worried that somehow like someone's getting like, you know, upset or something like that. So it went really well. Jaybird in the chat was good, Mr. Birdman. And here we go. They're about to kick off or they're about to get underway. The kickoff's already happened. Vose will have the ball on his own 25, waiting for Splash Zone to make his defensive adjustment now. And he's coming back out in the 2-3-6, moving his slot corners in. He has not, he's not pressing. Um, okay. And now, he, okay, he pressed the slot. Interesting. We have a spy in the field, and he's going to low ball that right there. And that's what I'm talking about, you guys. I see a lot of people run this, and people, people run, like, the slant and the crosser combo. We call it space, in TNC, we call that combination the spaceship, by the way. But people a lot of times aren't lowballing that for some reason. You you need to lowball that ball. Like that is a lowball to be to guarantee the catch. If you don't lowball, you're gonna get popped a lot of times. Motion over deep corner. Looks like we're going for a quick strike downfield. Watch this. Watch X right here. X getting out and it's gonna be a touchdown. As long as he makes the throw, it's gonna be on the run. It's gonna be accurate. D hop going all the way down the field. Might be able to get tackled at the one. No, it's gonna be a touchdown. Bows. 25 seconds into the game. Bows is on the board. It's gonna be quick. 7-0. Splash Jones gonna have to strike right back. Giving up the easiest one-play touchdown in Gun and Bunch. Everybody knows about that. Looking like Z thumbs out there against Michael Skimble back in clubs. And it's gonna be quick. 7-0. I wanna see Splash on offense. I wanna see what Vose does. I want to see what Vose does on defense, with that being said. So, getting right back. We're kicking off. Is there going to be any kind of return? Taking it at its own 25. It's going to be a middle hash. No one get the beaters. I mean, like, everyone gives up beaters. I don't know. Like, it, like you'll see pro players give that up sometimes. Is what it is. But although Vose has been getting beaters all game, I can't lie. Vose has been getting beaters all game. Or all all day, rather, all tournament. Uh, Vose, this is Vose's fifth game. This is Splash Zone's sixth game, by the way. I don't know if Splash Zone's ever been in a tournament either. Uh, this might be his first. I'm not totally sure. But with that being said, we see Vose. Looks like he's going to be using the 1 4 6 against this gun spread. Probably going to have to pause for a second. Nope, he's coming right back out. I'm curious. I'd like to see the defensive adjustments against this. Uh, looks like he's going to sit in stock cover two, manning up that slot, taking away the seam streak from it. 
I don't know. Actually, I'm... Vote? I'm curious what happens. As long as... If Splashdown doesn't mess up, like, make any, like, panic reads, this... I've, I've played against this offense a few times. I've played Fitzmagic13, who has ran this offense. I've played it. This isn't as good of a defense as you might expect against this. You beat him in Maze of Magic's training? I got you. But we're watching Vos versus Splash Zone. Halfback left. And we're dropping back to pass right here. We're able to pick up the Blitz. Good Blitz pick up. And able to low ball to Josh Gordon. Able to pick it up. A good little gain of seven. Ping your check downs with a little smash concept on the right. Implementing, implementing some real football concepts in Madden. And you know what? You have to respect it. I buy VC. This could be you right now. Yes, but you decided to lose. Halfback right. We're setting him out on that weird route. That's what the route was talking about. That's in the play circle. It's such a weird route. Anybody get that little toe swipe for a gain of seven. Two for two. Looking good so far. I also like some other stuff I saw on that play. I'm curious what he saw. Splash zone. And could be. <laughs> I'm sorry, VC. I'm sorry. Splash zone with the bows with a huge gap shoot right there. That's gonna push him back to the third and eight, third and seven. Absolute insane gap shoot. You as as splash zone right there, you have to wait a second. Let him move that slot corner in. If you snap the ball while he's moving it in, you, there's a good chance for me to shoot it and both show that off just like that. Third and seven. Walsh is looking for someone to hire. Walsh, I will take a personal assistant, five dollars an hour, two hours a week. Let's see what he has on getting a little adjusty on on. The left side, and on both sides, actually get adjusted. Putting that deep right safety in an outside third. Kind of, looks like he's going to try to bait the cover two beater. And we are going to see that post is wide open. Vose with a bad user. Vose, if you guys remember, early in the game, he was giving up some stuff early. Uh, that was purely due to him having kind of a, a piss poor user. To be, to be able to put it as kindly as I can. Um, which is showing once again right there with the post route. And Electrify Gaming coming back in. And once again, we're hitting that weird... That, that is in the play circle. Raven spread. The play circle has that weird, weird, weird route out of the backfield from the halfback. And you see Splash Jones, one of his favorite routes. Um, Noah... Oh, you are 19. Yeah. I was thinking of how old you were. Let's see. Able to hit that low ball again. Tyler Lockett able to make some miss. Getting a little sticky. If I'm... In this type of offense, too, I'm curious if Splash Jones plays on conservative. It seems like... Because it's very dink and dunk. And when you play this kind of offense, I think... You really have to be on conservative, um, especially how many times, like especially like how many times he's given himself up for big hits like that, and now he takes a hit, a sack. But that's why I talk about he's having really, really good pocket right now. And as Tripp says that himself, even when he takes a sack, it's only second and thirteen, which is super, super fine. Like you know what I'm saying? Like saying that, like some people take a sack right there, and it's a long, long, long loss whereas right there it's not for him, and he might try forcing something. He should have just ran, takes another sack, but once again, two straight sacks. Third and 15, that's all. A lot of people are losing a lot of yards on these. And Splashstone with really, really, really good pocket presence right now. That's what he has here. He's going to look, answer the pocket, able to go right at his user. Vos, maybe a little cheated right there. But at the same time, really bad user, just super over-pursuing up. Definitely a questionable read, though. Vos, ah, it, it was really, that was kind of really a 50-50 ball. Uh, I don't know if that should get picked. But at the same time, it's really bad user, but it wasn't a good read. Um, we're gonna find out though. He's taking his three, which is okay. I thought he was gonna go for it. I thought he was gonna go for it, kicking it right through the upright. Seven to three. Texans are on top. Vos is on top, and Splashstone does get ball at half. He must be comfortable in his bunch defense. Uh, Vos only had one play in offense, so it was a deep bomb. So, as the kickoff's going on, gonna be eating my muffin. Starting off, you see, I always love to return those, even if I don't think I'm going to get many yards. Because I always want to start off on a hatch. I always want my first... I, I, me personally, I hate passing from the middle hash. I hate passing from the middle field. But we're motioning over deep corner. Oh, gosh. Please don't give this up again. All right. He's in cover two, it looks like. Yeah, this is bagged. He needs to click onto that corner, though. He does not want to click on. It's going to be a dot down the sideline to Will Fuller, the fifth, for a nice 20 or 30. Was that 30 yards? It looked like 30 yards, I believe. Yeah. Right there, you have to try clicking on to that outside corner, going back up and baiting it, because he might have—he probably would have forced it too. KJ writes the user, able to take away 
That and kind of a bad pass lead. A little bit better of a quick counter, a better player right there. That pass lead is a little bit too far up for my liking. Should have been more to the sideline. Still able to get it though. D hop at the 13 now. Those moving the ball pretty effortlessly. Pretty effortlessly. Although I will say though, if those scores pretty fast here, Splash Zone will have a good three and a half minutes or so to go down the field. And he also gets ball at half. So that's why Splash Zone isn't super concerned. Obviously. You know, you need a stop, but you will be able to have a good drive or at least enough time for a good drive before the half. Forcing that one right there. Able to get into Lamar Miller at the one-yard line. The man up unable to play. A good adjustment by Splashstone. The man up's just not good enough. Good read by Vose recognizing that. First and goal from the one-yard line. Vose needs to probably chew the clock a little bit. Saints were super good at the beginning of the year. <laughs> This should, this should blow this up, I believe. We're going to find out, though, as he motion Atkins in for a little wham blocking. Easily able to get into the end zone. Jelopsy scores. That's 14-3. to three. Pressure on Splash Zone right now. A quick... Vose, has he thrown an incompletion yet? I don't think Vose has thrown a single incompletion yet at this point. And has Splashstone either? I don't think Splashstone has either. Decroft in the chat. That's TNC Decroft, the Seahawks club champion. We have Splashstone on offense and Vose on defense with the Texans. Neither, both of them are pretty moving the ball pretty effortlessly on offense. I can't lie. I would have liked to see Splashstone go for it on that fourth and two earlier, but he does not. And right now he's able to hit that same running back route over and over again, taking a huge hit stick. Seven for seven, though. I mean, he's been looking good. He's been looking really, really, really good. I can't lie. but And he's going to have a full three minutes, three timeouts to go down and get points and then gets ball at half. So he's in a cool spot as long as he gets points. Running the inside zone, getting McKinney is coming for right there, trying to cut it all the way back. Three rushes, one yard. Keep pass. I think you got to just keep passing the ball. I think you just have to keep passing the ball. Because like you, you, you're like you've been throwing the ball well all tournament, it feels like. I'll say the same thing last game. Motion across. Vose is now looking like he's trying to try to man up that route. I don't know if that I don't know if the man up will defend that weird route of the backfield though. And the baby hitch. Metcalf now trying to get loose. Needed a block for number 10. Not able to get it. Eight for eight for 81 yards. I mean this this is he's looking good on offense. This guy's disciplined. He's he's good. Like he has good pocket. Decroft, I want you to watch. Like Decroft. Pay attention to this guy's offense, bro. Now we're going back to inside. So I want to see him every time he goes back to watching this, bro. He, or going back to running the ball. This is not working that well. I want to see him just throw the ball. I guess, I mean, he's running the ball to help keep him honest, which I mean, should. Maybe I should, I should implement the my offense because I don't ever be running the ball, even though I probably should be sometimes. Um, no, it's been looking good. It's been looking really, really good. I've been really, really impressed. Once again, I never heard of this guy. Could have probably thrown the seam streak, but you see that man up. Like I said before, I didn't think that man up would defend the weird route of the backfield. It doesn't. It gets, that route gets inside coverage or inside leverage, rather. It's looking really good. He has a seam streak again. He doesn't want to throw it. And now he throws an absolute book. Oh, the one mistake. As I started talking him up, McKinney needs to get sticky. Looks like he's not going to be able to, though. Able to get a quick off. Able to get a tackle. Oh, as I started talking about it. And that's the thing with these check down offenses. That's what I was saying earlier when Gator was playing. You One mistake and you lose. That's what's so hard. You have to be playing so well throughout the entire game. Just one mistake and it is GG's. And right there, it's going to be very, very, very hard to come back from that. Not all he gets the ball at half, so not all hope is lost. Really good pocket from Vose right there. Those fumbles that he's not able to recover it. Vose getting a very nice break right there because Vose, I think, did Vose LT right there? No, I don't. I don't know if he did or not. But Splash Zone not able to get the ball back regardless. Vose on a second and fourteen now looking for corner strike, looking for a touchdown. He's like th this is a, this is a play. Vose Vose wants a touchdown and he has it. Oh, it's manned up. He might try forcing it. He doesn't. Good discipline from Vose in the sack. From Splash Zone. Splash Zone's calling his timeouts. He wants that ball back. Third and 17. You honestly, I'm setting I'm setting mad pressure right here. Because if you're able to get a sack, there's a good chance you're able you could push him out of field goal range. If Vose messes up here, he could get pushed out of field goal range. So there is I'm setting pressure. Um and Vose going for the Vose going for the bomb. I'm not a huge fan of that play call. See, Kenny Stills in motion. It's gonna be a post to the left. Kenny Stills able to get it in the first down marker. Yes, sir. It would have completed by three yards. And the pressure was the pressure came free. Really good pocket for Vose. Vose is playing very, very well on offense right now. Awesome pocket right there. 
Because if he steps, if he stepped up, which made that uh, that pressure off the edge not coming free. If he steps back, that's a sack. A lot of people are taking a sack right there. Let's see if he tries to force it. Nope. Deshaun wants to get you busy, and he's sliding down the four yard line. Vos has three timeouts. He's totally fine with in terms of clock management. And with this full dive, I think he's going to score pretty shortly because it did not look like Splash Zone had defense before. And actually, once again, I'm in the booth for a reason. Third and inches, Splash Zone saying, not so fast with the little shed. That's not consistent, though. You got to go right back to it if you're Vos, in my opinion. I don't think there's going to Like, that was just an inconsistent, weird shed. I don't think it's happening again. We'll find out, though. Jalepsia, definitely about to take off right up the middle. Is he on ag, I wonder? I don't know. And he's able to get two yards. Calling the timeouts now. The clock's a little bit of an... Like, you have to be a little bit concerned about it. Yeah, just pass the ball once or twice and you'll be fine. Yeah, no. Splash Zone's defense has been... It's been suspect. It's, I've not been a huge fan of Splash Zone's defense against Bunch so far. Uh, and that's why I said Jamel. I felt like Jamel was really just running weird route combos that really weren't that good. Um, when he was playing, because I really wasn't impressed by the defense, but he's able to get in there with Jalepsia, and it's 21-3, to Splash Zone getting blown out, he gets ball at half, okay, that is what I'll say, he gets ball at half, so there's life, it's, it's, it's thin, it's thin, but there's life, I'll take a sip of green tea, unofficially this stream is sponsored by green tea, Lipton green tea, citrus, Let's see. Splash Zone might have something right here. He's been, I mean, like I said, he's had some cool things. But I, let's see if he has any kind of gadget play. One play. Touchdowns, maybe. He, oh, he. Vos is used. There's nowhere to be found. Metcalf down the side. Or down the, up the middle of the field. Vos is used. There's, gives up the one play. He got the touchdown. He got exactly what he needed. He gets ball at half, too. Vos, I don't know what just happened. Vos was going absolutely dumb. Able to just barely get it up. Russell Wilson delivering a diamond. DK Metcalf just able to barely outrun the safety. The safety on the left side was just a cover two. I don't know why you're running cover two there either. I don't know if it was blown coverage. I don't know if Vose just forgot. I don't know if Vose didn't see it. But nonetheless, a really good pass lead from him as well. Able to get it away from that deep half safety. And that's the big thing about regs. And that's probably what Vose was thinking. Vose thought that deep half would play it. And I mean, once again, Vose's user throughout. I've said it a few times. Vose's user has cost him a few times in this tournament so far, and it might come back bad here. He's going to go for the touchdown. Let's see. <laughs> we got to see this. I'm very interested right here. Vose has one timeout, and okay, so the one-point touchdown is taken away. Deshaun, oh my goodness. If Vose's controller messes up, if he's not able to slide, if he, you know something crazy happens right there, there's a chance that Splash Zone could have gotten three before half. So we just got to play back. As a user here, bro, just play all the way back. Look for whatever route's going deep. Who cares? He wants to play. He wants to, you know, get dizzy or get busy in the open field. Let him get busy in the open field. Who cares? He's not. He's literally on that deep zone. That's such a bad. Oh, my gosh. There's, like, a slight chance. Oh, my. Okay, no. That's too far. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Going into halftime, guys. 21 to 10. Vos is on top of Vos. Just let, Vos just let Splash zone back into the game with that PA. That was PA deep outs, right? That that was that post from PA deep outs from the slot, I believe it was. Splash zone having a chance right here. I felt like I said before, I felt like he's playing good on offense for the most part, besides a couple, well, really just one bad interception. I don't think he's throwing incompletion besides the one bad interception. Similar to those, or similar to Gator losing earlier today. And he's down eleven. I mean, if he gets if he gets points, he just needs to get a stop. Now, I don't know if he's gonna get a stop. But he just needs points. Make this one possession game. Good defense from Mr. Vose right there. Maybe he could have tried putting it in that crosser over top when he bit down with McKinney. But good defense. The shed coming off the edge. Very, very, very. Uh, it, was, it was kind of baggy. It was kind of baggy. It was Duffy. It was a Duffy. Now we have the cross man on. Very good adjustment from Vose. It won't play it still, though. Apparently it will not still play it. Good, cool adjustment. It looked like that slot corner was going to actually make a play on it. Uh, it stops it for a gate of two. But third and 12 now. And Splash Zone, he's, this is fourth down. You're probably going for it on fourth down anyways right here, unless you take a bad sack. Really, really, really adjusting right here from Vose, and he's able to hit that. If he lets that sit, or if he lets that keep going to the sideline, I don't know what the route does, but what was, that was a hook zone. If it goes all the way to the sideline, probably a good game. Fourth and eighth, though, Splash Zone looks like he's probably going to go for it. He's back in the spread wide flex, it looks like. Vose, 
thinking about what he's gonna do on defense. This is this might be this is almost damn near game. Fourth and eight motion or uh, flipping the offense half back to the left. You see, Vos has a cross man on pro size, so he's not gonna be able to get it. Metcalf, so he's probably going back to that post play. I see if Vos learnt from the last time. I like Metcalf to be on a post right here, and he landed up again. Vos's users was nowhere to be found. Metcalf almost getting loose. Vos's user, it was the same play as before. There was nothing else to use, so he's just letting it up. Oh my goodness, Vos is just keeping him in this game himself. Splash Zone needs to take advantage of this, man. Splashdown has to take advantage of this at some point. He had the hitch, throws it a little late, and it get, what, loses a yard? No, gets nothing. Yeah, bad, uh, really bad pocket right there. He got kind of panicked. It seemed low, it's, it's something, uh, something right there just wasn't right for, uh, right for Splashdown. Splashdown just needs to relax a little bit. Minu in the chat. What's good, baby? Good to see you in here. And we have, we're setting our halfback again on that route. We could have, he has a touch on Metcalf down the seam! I knew, it was, I said before, I said multiple times when he'd been in that same coverage shell where he's over aggressive, pressing that man coverage, that it was very, very aggressive. Metcalf, it would burn over top in the seam, getting the touchdown. We're going for two. We have a three possibility of a three point game, but no matter what happens, it's going to be a one possession game where Splashdown has to get a stop. He needs a stop right here uh, when he gets back on defense, but we're in gun deuce close. I don't know what he has on this. I don't know what he has. Out of this, I don't know if he might try all the way around. No, he's gonna run inside. Ah, I hate that call. He's able to get in though, anyways. CJ Pro size 18 to 21. We have seven and a half minutes of the gameplay, too, so there's still a lot more happening here. I saw Trips in here saying that this was not exciting. Trips, there you go. What more do you want? I'm all out of green tea. I'm all out of bang. I have nothing else to cool my thirst. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be taking it out. Getting to the left side of the field, trying to cut it back, but all, all, getting it all the way to the 24 23 yard line. Oh my goodness, we have bunch to the right, I'm, we have to not, the, the worst thing right here is a splash zone lets up a one play bomb, I think Vos, I'm expecting Vos, honestly, out of anger, out of just pure anger, to go right back to the one, to the uh, one play bomb in deep corner with the comeback and the deep post and motioning over the corner to come up another post, apparently splash zone, I think it's changed his defense, I don't know what he's going to be going to here, Oh my gosh! Let's see. He's going to one four six. Has he been? I'm trying to think. He oh he's he's man aligning. So a different defensive look out of here. Let's see. Is he gonna be in straight man coverage? He's okay. So wide receiver pose a very popular setup. I'd like to see that tight end an out route instead of a flat. But nonetheless, uh, and things are getting baggy. Things are getting baggy right now. He's gonna try for something. He had the running lane the entire time. Almost taking a hit. Nubby coming down hard. And Vos. A lot of pressures on him right now. If he loses this game, it is a fold of a century, guys. Second and seven. Motioning him across again. This defense, it's weird. It's man aligned 146 against Bunch, which I don't see very often. We were getting baggy out here, ladies and gentlemen. He has to come back, but he's gonna take off instead. Once again, guys, he's like he's playing. He's playing like he's riding a thin line. If his, if his controller messes up, which it does on quarterback slides, these control you will mess up on quarterback slides a lot. It's a fumble waiting to happen, and that's going to put Splash Zone right back in the game. Oh, my goodness. Vos playing risky again, able to get that stop. Vos trying to just to calm the game down a little bit with a sweep, unable to. That right there is one of the worst feelings in the game right there when, you know, you see yourself kind of, you know, getting a little weird. Like, I don't know, not playing really great, so you just try to run the ball to get, you know, just to relax a little bit, and you get blown up in the backfield. I've been there. I know that feeling. It sucks. So he sees him in the main line. Vo's now going to the vertical setup, and this might be a big play. Nope, it's outside. He had a, that safety in the outside third. Actually, not now Jadavian Clowney coming off the edge. Everything got bagged. This man-to-man -man coverage is going crazy right now. Vo's missing reads a little bit, and now this defense is just so weird. It's not, now he's not main line. He's now main lining. Actually, he, so he's main line after the play. Deep corner is now the call. We had to start utilizing um, D-hop. Motion over Kenny Stills. Motion snapping him. We have that slant. We're going to LT. I don't know if he meant to LT or not, but everything's bad. We're going to try forcing something. Kenny Stills catching it, but it's still 4th and 10. I don't know if Vos is going to go for it. I think as Vos, what are you going to do? What do you do if you're Vos here? This has gotten insane right now. He, he has switched up going to a cover one robber look, making very slight adjustments around it. And I'm not going to lie, this is the type of stuff where... This will start to give me troubles because it starts like mixing it with man and a little bit of adjustments. Like it's very, very, very 
Uh, it, it can get frustrated to play against. Now, Vose is conceding the possession, giving the ball back to Splash Zone. And Splash Zone might have a chance to return this punt to a Tyler Lockett. He will. A bad punt from Vose. Let's see if he can get busy. You gotta cut this all the way out. Oh, Tyler Lockett, he loose! Tyler Lockett gets tagged with the 35. That looks so good for a second. Put your falls in the chat. We're at 450 left in the tournament. This is for $150, ladies and gentlemen. This has become what turned into almost a blowout. And after Splash threw a really bad pick. We have a hell of a game right here. Bagging the spread wide flex. Such a weird offense. We're going to watch. I think Splash probably going to keep on going to this precise we weird route out of the backfield. He doesn't right here, though. And Bose is able to throw that little baby hitch. Tyler Lockett able to turn it upfield for a nice game of 11. I, If you're Splash, you need to be on Conservative right here. I've said it a few times. You have to be on Conservative right here. Vose, Vose is really giving up the underneath stuff in that type of defense. I don't want to see Vose go back into that man press defense. It's just not good. It's too risky. J.J. Watt now playing defense. You have to make the quick read over to your running back route. That's why you have it on the field. It is a fast, quick read. And Splash taking a bad sack right there. J.J. playing some defense for him. He's 6 for 17 with one pick, though. That's the issue with point offense like this. It's so hard. And he actually RBs. And oh my gosh. And now Splash on a third and 18, I believe. Or maybe a third and 20. It's ha is this two down territory? It depends what happens this play. If I get good yards right here, it's fourth and short. I'm going for it. If it's fourth and 20, though, you have to play defense a little bit more with three timeouts and a whole lot of time left. J.J. Watt now is activated. You got to watch him going through the middle. Not able to get a shed. We're able to get a C.J. Prosize. And it looks like it is four down territory. C.J. Prosize gets out of bounds too. No, he was inbounds as well on the right sideline. And we're going right back to it in fourth and ten. What you have to be thinking here, he has that circle play with that weird crosser coming from. I believe it's coming from that left receiver. You have to be wary of that. I think that's probably what he's going to. J.J. Watt did not activate last play, which means he's probably going to go crazy right here. And he doesn't once again. Yep, that, there was that route. And he gets it right there. Bows and user nowhere to be found. Tyler Lock with a diving catch around the 32. And now Splash is now in position to tie the game at the very least. I think Bows user, I wasn't looking close enough. I think he had to go back to that curl, though. I think he had to go back to that curl, though. Um, but that's what I was telling you guys. Literally, that's what you have to expect. And J.J. Watt now playing defense. And now, gotta get down. Russell Wilson getting to the 26-yard line with two and a half minutes left. If you're Splash Zone, you have to take this to the two-minute warning, I think. And he does. Very, very smart decision by Splash Zone. And I would not be surprised to see him run the ball just out of make sure that he's still, you know, just to stay comfortable. But we're going to find out. I, I, I would like to see him keep passing the ball, but I would not be surprised to see him run the ball. And Noah... This guy, like, it's actually good. His pocket's pretty good. And, yeah, like I said, he runs the ball. Able to get that first down. CJ Prosize fall four for a good gain of five. Five rushes, eight yards. That's the best run of the day for him so far. Best run of the game of the day for either player. player. And, oh, my gosh. And we're going to that over-aggressive defense. I don't mind it so much here. I feel like this, I don't know if this offense has many man-beating routes. And two purples isn't bad. And you see the baby hitch getting one yard. Really bad animation on that. He didn't. He passed let it down, so that's what's going to happen. When you do pass lead down on those hitches sometimes. Unfortunate, but he, he's seen that before. He knows that. So Splash Zone probably isn't too upset by that. We have a weird running back route. Once again, going to the running back route. Cedar Prosize, that might be a first. I'm not sure. He got nine yards on second and nine. It's going to be first and ten from the 11. This, ladies and gentlemen, we have, ah, this, I don't know if Splash Zone feels this way, but I've said it many times. I hate being in this situation because your smart routes don't go right to the same spot in the end zone as they would if it was first and goal for the 10. So it's very, it's kind of frustrating. We see that's still going to get inside leverage. And Russell Wilson, yeah, get down. Well, Russell Wilson, and now Splash Zone, the ball is in his hands. The game is in his hands. At the very least, if you're Splash Zone, you need to get this game to overtime. Although, if it's fourth and inches, if it's fourth and, it, like, from this position, even on fourth and two from the three, if it gets to that, it might be, I don't know, you might go for it. I don't, because you haven't played really much defense besides the very end you might have, you know what I'm saying, he had one good drive of defense. I don't know if you're, if you're splashing, if you're confident in that or not. But he's going to gun deuce close. I don't like that call that much. I think he's just going to run inside zone. Um, It's a safe call. It's a safe call. But it's also second and two. So, I mean, you have you have that safe call option right here. You know what I'm saying? And he might actually get a touchdown. CJ Post is untouched. Vos is going to have a couple plays. How many timeouts does Vos have? Vos has, I believe he has three timeouts still. Vos has two timeouts. He's going to make the extra point, And he's going to be going up four points. Vos has to score seven right here with 19 seconds after the kickoff. Depending on what Vos does, he should have 19 to 16 seconds. Depending if he takes it out or not. That's good enough for three or four plays. Um, but my goodness, maybe five plays somehow. Oh my gosh. Up four and an absolute hell comeback from Splash Zone. Yeah, I talked about what game's going on YouTube. YouTube will be seeing this game later tomorrow. Uh, yeah, Monday. This game's going on YouTube Monday for sure.
Let's see what Bose does. The biggest thing here is you know what bomb he wants to do. He's already used he's already used his bomb. I don't know if Bose had another one. He might, but we're quick snapping it. Getting baggy. I mean, he has it, but it's absolute baggy. You have to chunk it deep. Maybe play, you could have played Maker R1 up. This might be a pick. That might be game right there. Incomplete Bose getting lucky. It's triple coverage. You could have played Maker RB up and tried to try to just baby float that over the top of the man coverage. Maybe, but my gosh. And now we are just playing super safe defense, which I don't totally blame. We're going with sweep, which I'm, I am i don't really like to call a whole lot. Um, If you want to run the ball, you need to go into a heavy set to weak box him at least. One second left, though. This, oh my goodness. And now we're calling a timeout. Let's see what each competitor comes out. We're going to Hail Mary. You, look, guys, run with the deep route. Put everybody deep. Oh my gosh, get your boys back. Back them off. Bag him off splash zone. You D Hop is on that post. He has an X on the post. He has an X on the post. He's gonna be able to glitch the deep half, but he has Nubby out there. Nubby only has one hand. See if we can stay with him. It's a, it's gonna be a two on one. It's gonna be D Hop versus Nubby. D Hop versus Nubby picked off by Nubby. No one picked off by Shaquille. It was his brother. Splash zone with this comeback of a century. I thought it was Nubby, but it was the brother, the corner, the DB. Coming away with it. Vos. GG's. Vos. Giving up, I believe he was up by two or three possessions at one point. Splash Zone with the offense. Insane comeback by Splash Zone. Huge props. That offense was actually really, really good. It was super unique. Super good. Oh my gosh. Fitz Magic. If Fitz Magic's in here, Fitz Magic has a smile on his face, grinning. Oh my gosh. A couple mistakes by Vose's user at the end. And let's actually cut to my face cam here, boys. A couple mistakes by Vose's user at the end of that, or during that game, gave Splash Zone life. Especially at the end of that half. You guys remember the end of that half, he took that, it was uh, like five seconds left, he gave up that deep bomb. 255 in here, by the way, I appreciate everyone in here. He gave up that deep bomb all the way down the field, and that's what really sparked the comeback. Because that's what exactly what he had to have. There was nothing else that, he, there was no other way for him to come back without that. And oh my gosh, uh...